of elevated stress, uh, there can be pretty challenging impacts on an individual's physical, mental, and emotional health, as well as on their relationships. And if there's anything I could, I could suggest to people, it's to remember that um, you have a wide range of assets on any farm or ranch operation. Typically, we talk about land and livestock and seed and you know buildings and things like that as being important assets. But actually, I would argue that the most important asset on any farm or ranch operation is the health of the individuals who are working in that operation. Um, you rely on your health to help you be resilient during times of elevated stress. And so it's very important to take the time to slow down, maybe to get an assessment of your health and um, just make sure that you're taking care of yourself and the people around you so that you can rely on your health as a critical resource during times of stress. Um, I encourage people, if they haven't done so recently, to begin uh, with a visit to a healthcare provider. Um, healthcare providers um, deal with a wide range of issues, not just physical health, but mental health as well. And so you can ask for a baseline checkup and assessment of your physical and mental health. Self-care practices that are very important include uh, trying to focus on getting healthy sleep on a regular basis. Uh, sleep provides that uh, energy that we need to handle tasks on our farm or ranch operation, um, paying attention to your diet, um, and particularly uh, taking some time for exercise on a daily basis if you can get it. And then um, accessing sources of support in your life, just taking some time to identify who do you trust, who are some individuals in your circle that you can maybe talk with on a regular basis. That might be daily, it might be every few days but someone with whom you can share your thoughts, your worries, your, your plans, uh, your anxieties. And by doing that, um, it allows you to process some of the stress that you're experiencing and also think about uh, ways that you might um, handle those stresses, maybe other resources that could be available to you and just get some encouragement and support from people around you. Fortunately, there's a wide range of great resources out there. I think people can start with our NDSU Extension Farm Stress website. The state of North Dakota has a great website called ndresponse.gov. Again, that's ndresponse.gov. And that uh, has specifically a lot of resources related to um, dealing with weather impacts, uh, behavioral health type of um, resources and programs, things like that. So I would encourage people to use that website. Um, if you have a need for talking to someone immediately, uh, the organization First Link handles the 211 hotline in the state, which is available 24 seven. So through that hotline, if you call 211, uh, you can get 24 seven counseling, uh, crisis counseling, but they also offer referrals to um, a wide variety of different types of information and programs that are out there to assist people. So um, if you're looking for a counselor in your area, if you're looking for help with a substance misuse issue, or, or if you're looking for some kind of financial assistance specific program, um, they can help connect you with all those resources through that 211 hotline. Mm -hmm.